<clears throat> what are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? It looks like you're sticking a telescope up your ass. Then that's what I'm doing. Right. If you must know, I'm trying to solve one of the great mysteries of the universe. And you believe the answer lies up your dog star? I've been watching the skies for a week now, and I've made some interesting observations. Such as? Mercury, Venus and Saturn appear to be shifting in their orbits. Jupiter seems to be taking longer to complete a single rotation, and the lady across the road is dumping toxic waste in her dustbin. And what does this mean? It means that our neighbours have little regard for the stringent regulations concerning the disposal of dangerous materials. Plus, it means the universe is expanding. I see. Fascinating. So what I want to know is, if the universe is expanding, does that mean that if you get up in the middle of the night to go to the toilet, it's a slightly longer walk than it was the night before? I don't know. In that case, I think I'll give NASA a quick ring. Engaged. Oh, fuck it. Let's just have a pissing contest. OK. This is my day. Is there something wrong? Of course there's something wrong. I'm feeling very depressed at the moment. What's making you so depressed? The fact that I can't open this bottle of pills. What are they? Antidepressants. Excuse me for saying so, but isn't that a paradox? No, I think it's Prozac. Hang on a mo, and I'll give you a hand. <laughs> oh, that is better. Izzy's fucking childproof lids. They're fucking catproof as well. Oh, fuck it! Hmm. I think this calls for a more subtle approach. There you go. Thank you. Right, then. One, two... Oh, fuck it! Do you want some water with those? What for? And, uh, should you be taking all of them? You don't understand depression, do you? But isn't it a bit dangerous? Look... You've been a great help, and I really appreciate it. But now you can disappear up your own arsehole, or whatever it is you do. Excuse me. What? I could do with some help. What's the matter? What's the matter? What's the matter? What do you think's the matter? Haven't you noticed anything different about me? Could you give me a clue? Oh, for God's sake. You've had a haircut? No. A manicure? No. You've bought a new car? What? No. What is it, then? I'm wrapped in bandages. Oh, that. What do you mean, oh, that? I assumed you were practising safe sex. Safe sex? I can't fucking well move. You can't get much safer than that. Could you two possibly have your fascinating discussion elsewhere? I'm developing a headache. And I'm having a crisis, if you hadn't noticed. Call that a crisis? Yes, I do. OK, then. So what kind of medication are you on, huh? But seeing as I can't open my mouth at the moment, none. As I thought, a fucking amateur. How did you get like this in the first place? Strange as it may seem, I'm not really sure. One moment I was sitting on the toilet, leafing through the new Laura Ashley catalogue, and the next I was dressed like I was going to an S&M cheese and wine party. The bandages won't budge. They seem to be stuck on or something. I just don't understand it. I mean, how the hell could this have happened? If I didn't know any better... I'd say this was the work of some kind of weird and malevolent presence. How's it, guys? You'll never guess what I've been doing. Sitting in the airing cupboard and counting backwards from a hundred. Yes, but what else? I don't know, and I don't care. I've been reading a book. What book? Something called The Book of the Dead. A strange and mystical volume of ancient Egyptian curses. I read a bit of it out loud. Which bit? I think it was the bit that said, Do not read out loud. 
And what was it you read out loud? An evil curse that can turn an enemy into a living mummy. Now, there's a coincidence. Have you been reading it too? You bastard! What? Don't you realise what you've done? Oh, yeah. Look, don't panic. I think there's a counterspell in the book. I'll pop back to the airing cupboard, read out the cure, and you'll be out of the bandages in no time. Look, I'm really sorry. Cut! When I get out of these bandages, I'm going to pull off your wings and stuff them up your egg hatch. We specifically told you not to read from that book again. I said I was sorry. And then I'm going to put you in the fish tank where your face will be bitten off by electric eels. Now, it's true that we're in a difficult and unusual situation. And if you're still alive after that, I'm going to saw off your beak and stab you with it. How can you stab me with my beak if it's being bitten off by electric eels? I'll find a way. And I think we have two options. Option one, we continue to stay calm and think logically until we work out how to free ourselves. Or... Option two, we scream and scream and scream like girls until someone rescues us. Is there a third option? No. Oh. Right. Which one of you noisy bastards took my temezepan tablets? Because I really, really need them. And I mean, I really need them, OK? Thank God you're here. We need your help. You need help? What about me? I need more help than any of you. Anyone can see that. You're just selfish. Always thinking about what you want, never what I want. You make me sick. You really do. Oh, God. Can't we go just one day in this house without suffering from an ancient Egyptian curse with only a neurotic, drug-dependent cat to rescue us? It's so ironic. Strictly speaking, it's not ironic. It's bad luck. So, when I get out of these bandages and fuck your eye sockets, will it be bad luck or will it be irony? Did you say Egyptian curse? Ancient Egyptian, yes. Why? It's just that we cats were the most revered creatures in the whole of ancient Egyptian society. Oh, fuck off. Perhaps I should remind you that in those days, people were sometimes put to death for offending cats. You can read all about it in the Book of the Dead. You know about the Book of the Dead? Naturally. Then you also know how to lift the curse of the mummy. That, oh yeah, piece of piss. A couple of hieroglyphics, quick reading of the Declaration of Innocence, and all your troubles are over. Then you can set us free? Of course I can. Thank God. But what's it worth? I'm sorry? What's it worth? You mean you would take advantage of us when we are wrapped in bandages and utterly helpless? Can you think of a better time? What exactly do you want? Now, let me see. There isn't a great deal of literature concerning the role of parrots in ancient Egypt. Not even on the internet. In fact, when I typed the words big colourful bird into the search engine, I was more than a little surprised to find myself wading through several thousand pages of hardcore triple X pornography. Surprised, but strangely contented. However, one of the weirdest things about ancient Egypt was the fact that the people who built the pyramids sometimes included N-suite bathrooms in the burial chambers. Presumably this was so that the dead person could go for a quick piss in the middle of the night, or maybe brush their teeth. I think I'd like to be buried along with some indoor plumbing. It would mean that even in the afterlife, I could drink my own urine. So, that's two kilos of bird seed, several unidentified fairy objects from the upstairs toilet, a bag of regurgitated grass, three chew toys, a subscription to the Kylie Minogue fan club, some old cork matting, and, oh yeah, 42 wank mags, eight slightly soiled. Now, you're sure that's everything you've got? Yes. What about over-the-counter medication? Junior disparate, under the sink. Right. Anything else? No. Are you sure? Yeah. 
because did you know that the process of mummification includes the removal of the liver, lungs, stomach and intestines, plus the smashing of the brain and its removal through the nose with a long hook. Trevor's cash, foreign currency and traveller's cheques are hidden in a box above the wardrobe, the parrot's stock portfolio is under the cooker, and my gold ingots are in the cistern. Excellent. Now, will you read the spell? Yes, and it's lucky for you that my detailed knowledge of the dark mysteries of the ancient world, combined with my dependence on easily available pharmaceutical products, means that I can save you from a living death. So, are we all ready? Oh, fuck. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think I can move my foot. No, no, I can't. <laughs>